all right so welcome back to my channel so in this video i will going to show you how to connect the database from notion into figma so let's get started so in this video i will split into three steps so yeah this is the introduction so i give you the overview first so we are going to use the the data table from notion to figma so uh, as uh, by yeah by default the notion is uh, doesn't support uh, to get the data to patch the data from notion to figma so uh, i found the plugin that i think is uh, useful and the plugin name is notion figma uh, plugin sing notion figma plugin so the the yeah the workflow from the uh the, this plugin is patch the data table from notion into uh figma that's the the uh, the the output from from this plugin okay step number one so you need to configure the cloud fair so this is the tutorial from the author of the plugin so the tutorial is uh using japanese so using kanji yeah uh and yeah you need to translate using google google translate so i think it's easy to follow so if you don't know the course so the core is means the cross origin resource sharing so i think this uh, the blocker from the notion uh we cannot using uh, uh by default but uh with with them yeah with with a trick this will be uh by, bypass the the issue of the course error okay so this is the tutorial so the first thing you need to create uh, create cloud fair so in cloud fair you need to create worker so worker like uh, you create the subdomain or yeah i mean like you you create the subdomain from your project uh i would say this will be like you create your workspace uh in cloud fair yeah i don't know but yeah i just follow the tutorial but but it will be helpful if you know how to use it so and then in the step one you need to add the the this code uh this this code to put on the uh to on your server i like like right? yeah this the from your server okay in cloudflare okay so you need to register first so i will register so this i will just sign up okay okay so i already signed up so first thing you need to do is go to the worker so in the worker you need to create uh, uh set the domain so domain yeah domain the subdomain so i would say yeah will be this my name okay and then you need to you yeah you need to create the subdomain of your project yeah of your project in cloud fair so they say they call the, the worker okay you need to set up and you fill the name and then yeah you choose the name and set up and next is choose your plan so i just stick it to the free version and verify your email okay so i will verify my email a few moments later i already uh, con confirm so now in this case so let's go back to the tutorial uh, i already created before but for in this tutorial so i just try to follow the uh, step by step from the author of the plugin so now we already signed up and we need to create a service so you need to create service and then you can create the service name let's say i just follow the what they need so actually the service team is up to you what's they yeah you can call whatever you want so i just follow sing notion yeah it should be like this let's see okay sing notion yeah but i just want to follow it 
and HTTP hall uh, handler handler is the same thing yeah, this, uh, yeah the same thing as we and next so they say I got to next 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 okay okay create service okay once one is done so yeah still previewing but once it done you need to hit the quick edit so as you can see they said you need to click edit okay and put this code into the into the yeah the 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 cloud file so you need to create a quick edit and then you can delete it for this one okay and paste and yeah it's okay and save okay and deploy so this is the the uh, url so you can click here and you will see this the usage so if you can see this one so this page so means the configuration of cloudflare to avoid court error it's it should be done okay okay now we can move to a notion for the step two okay now in step number two so you need to create the integration so your credential of the token or the token of the notion okay so as you as you can see in the tutorial in the, in the tutorial so you need to uh, yeah you just follow you create a new integration and you can hit this link and follow the information is very straightforward so now uh, my integration so this is my uh, example so i just follow what they said and if you want to create a new integration you can just create uh, a new integration you put the name associate with uh, the the associate works works first from uh, we will will you store the, uh, the, the the data table on your account so let's say your workspace in, in the notion if you have the two or three so you can pick one uh, associate workspace uh the the data uh, the data on the oh uh, yeah on the notion okay you just need the capability you just uh, need uh select the the read and uh user cap uh, yeah user capability yeah, just no user information so as you can see uh, in the tutorial yeah you can put the name yeah the name uh the integration name and associate workspace read and not uh, no user information and also yeah that's all submit and you will get the uh token id so yeah once it's done so this is my i already created before so this is the secret number so yeah this the integrate yeah the token number okay so this is the name and the id will be in, uh, automatically appear once you already submit and capability read and no use information okay done so uh after you already create so you can copy paste the uh the, uh, the token as credential so you can save and then uh once it's done you need to uh create the sample table so this is my sample table so so don't forget so as as you can see from the tutorial so once you already done and you need to connect uh add connection so if as you can see if you want to see so you can hit this action icon and you will see the connection to uh sync notion yeah you just connect and select connection uh you can select yeah let's say you want to add uh, add new you can hit the notion notion sync notion because i already uh, i already created so you need to you can select this one because i already created so it, it won't appear uh double so once you're done okay and the step two is done actually yeah so as you can see back to the tutorial so once you already create the data table on the notion so you can set the uh, set the connection so at the connection sync notion that's all okay now we can go to step number three
okay now we are in step number three okay step number three is uh, uh configure the uh, uh the code fair the integration token and some data key from um uh, from notion so as you can see i uh, will go back to uh yeah yeah i mean this one okay in uh, this tutorial so once you're done once you already created the table uh, so uh, go to figma and on the figma you need to create uh, the uh, some layer uh, for the label let's say the label uh, yeah let's say if you have uh, five data that you want to uh, patch data fetch the information from the the notion so you need to create the four layer as a tax okay tax yeah i mean tax not tax okay and then you need to configure the the notion plugin okay so you need to so i will go to figma so this is the figma okay in figma so first thing first is uh i assume you already uh, created the, the, the data table on the notion so once you already done so keep in mind uh just just this, this is just uh, for the uh, 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 an example so as you, as you can see it has three columns okay on the on the table it has three columns so one as a k value one is the let's say uh, the translation or the data that you want to show so um in uh, k value as the column number one here so you need to add uh, put the name uh, let's say the slogan or description as the layer name okay not the data name okay so uh, i give you an example so uh, whatever the name from this one is okay but the name for the layer name a label name or yeah layer name so you need to rename as uh, using hashtag and slogan. So why should I use the hashtag? Because based on the tutorial, so they said the author said you need to create the hashtag. Yeah, yeah, this is one. So this is the key. So this is the hashtag. Okay. Yes. Uh, I just follow the tutorial what they said. Okay okay and so i will continue to let's say uh, whatever but the key is the layer name so description okay and i will use this label no happy and also this label password and also the last one is label label button okay now i have uh, created five layers as a yes yeah, a yes yeah, as a layer for uh, uh, in figma and now we need to set up or configure the plugin okay you need to call the plugin say sing notion okay you can run okay as you can see i already fill the information so uh first is notion api url so as you can see uh you need to create the url so you you already create the cloud fair uh, cloud fair uh, subdomain and once you're done when you already set up when you add the the some code in uh in the cloud fair uh, workspace and then you will get the url so url you need to add to this and then once you're already done so as you can see from the developer said yeah once you dance, uh, they said you need to add the API, the notion. Let's say where where are the information. So you need to notion API URL. So you can copy this one. So as you can see, sing, uh, sing notion blah blah blah. Uh, whenever you call, you, if you have subdomain the different uh, service, you okay, uh, you can see uh, sing notion your subdomain worker and uh api notion.com 
as you can see, if I go back to my Figma, yeah, I would say it's the same thing Notion, uh, the Hendrik Worker, and also the API Notion. So how do I get the database ID? So where, 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 uh, where do you get yeah, uh, the, the, the database ID? So the database ID, it will came from... So I need to go back to web scene. So if I go back to my sample data, this is the the database ID. Okay, yeah, the database ID. This is the database ID. You can copy and paste into your Figma. Okay, so this is my database ID. Okay, so you know how to get the database ID from the Notion okay means the url so that's the database id okay and now the k name so the k name is mean the k value so you can use the same the 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 column number the column yeah the first column so the first column i use the k value so you need to fill out is the same as the name of the column table in notion okay so i put the k value and now the value name so you can pick which one the k value or the value name that you want to show in figma okay so let's say i would like to add my uh, value name from column indo okay and then so when it's done so okay so this is the the crucial part okay the crucial part if I hit the sync notion, so it will be the uh, will be updated for five layer here. So let's see. Okay, if I click sync notion, it could be changed. Okay, so as you can see, but why is not changed? Okay, okay, I forgot. Uh, so yeah, this is my bet. So it should be label, not lovely should be a label so my bet yeah should be label and this is should be label no not label i mean login password should be login password and also this is login button okay login button so if i uh hit once again since notion it will be changed Ta -da! okay that's the how it works uh, if you use the notion okay so uh one more time okay so if i change to in english mean english so the call name the column name is english so what could be uh what uh the 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 result so my expectation if i change the value name to ing i mean english the layer name it will be changed too so let's let's try so i will hit sync notion it will be changed okay to the uh la, 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 to the uh, english version of the label so that's it so that's the how it work if you use the data from notion using notion uh sync notion a plugin in Figma. Okay, thanks. That's uh, the tutorial. That's it. Okay, that's the tutorial. I hope you get my point and learn something here. Yeah, and if you have a question, you can leave a comment. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.